Hi, welcome to my video. I'm Jennifer Roberts. You're catching me on my YouTube channel, Bitchu channel and Facebook page, all at True Divine 44. You can get me also on my Instagram and Twitter at The True Divine. So this is where I put out the daily energy stroke tarot readings, tarot stroke energy readings to help guide you on your day, to help you master your day, reach your full potential, recognizing the energies within you, within others and around you take what resonates it is general i seek to just serve um, a purpose for your day rather than direct your day uh, this is uh, there's something happening with a group of people or because some readings with them being general you can read you can resonate with part of the readings and take something away from that or you can resonate with all of them or it can just not be for you on that particular day but there's like this rolling story for a lot of people, which I hope some people can take some parts of to help release themselves from certain burdens that I think a lot of you are feeling right now. So this being for the 26th of January 2021, this is a very special day because it is the birthday of our collective Aquarian barbarian Theodorable. So Theodorable Jude Henry Roberts is six today. Um, and he's going to be super excited. I'm doing these preemptively so that I can spend the full day with him uh, and, and have plenty of fun with him, make the most of it. So uh, I'll be sure to read out any messages to him on the day as well, which will, you know, he loves you guys. So that'll be super awesome of you to do if you don't mind. <laughs> um, so this is a special day indeed, because he is a gift, is a pleasure, is funny and is is just out of the box, which which I love. So what are we going to do first? Let's see. OK, so bottom of the deck, we've got the Knight of Pentacles kept coming up a bit. So there's a mission here, but this is a tricky energy not to be trusted. Certain things with business don't they're not exactly what they seem. There's certain things that you need to take note of. There's certain things that you need to be very wary of. Make sure you're reading in between the lines. Make sure you are um, getting every T crossed and dotting every I. Mm. There's a sneakiness to this. Um, are you aware of this particularly in business or contracts or moving house um for some of you and this is just coming up that be careful that things don't go missing um be aware of of that if you it, it, i don't know why that's coming up for whoever that is but be, be be very wary of things going missing in certain company or through certain transit yeah so on the bottom of the other deck we have the nine of wands Seeking for discernment, taking a pause in everything that you do and discern, discern, discern. This is where it's been a hard, long road and very burdensome, tiresome, and you just want to get to the end. But that wanting to get to the end, that being the ten of wands, could make you rush through things that um, shows that your discernment hasn't got time to catch up with what you are taking action on. There's something more to today to look at. There's something more to navigate. And um, this is where you stop and pause and you be flexible like flames in order to um, dance with whatever obstacles come up. It might be that you have to go in a completely different direction and that things completely change today um, as they can change in any one given moment. You can make this for your best if you are very discerning and very aware of um, sneaky, fixed, inflexible energies. So be aware of that, of other people's ulterior motives um, and their reasoning behind directing you on, or, or the manipulation or, or the, their wants of you. So we've got 
and it's quite a few reversals. And I always check the deck when there's a couple of reversals just to make sure, but you know, it is what it is. And so this is the hermit, but it is in reverse. But get this, the hermit clarifies it in the upright. This is where you are being asked so much, so powerfully from the deep within of you to face you, to really be honest with self, to really explore self. This is the healer. It's, it's a Virgo card. It is the natural healer. It is um, the energy that you heal thyself, O oh healer. You, you, through doing this hermit energy, through being brave enough to go into the depths of self, to be able to, to, to go in there with, with a flame, to cleanse the flame of the lantern or the flame of, of, of this here. We see that your external is representative right now. Whatever isn't just flowing right now, whatever isn't working right now, whatever relationships are struggling right now, um, whatever transactions are struggling right now, this is all happening from the within. And so I know it doesn't feel like a gift for whoever is resonating with this, but it is a gift. It's a marker, it's a mirror to show you that you need to go within. You couldn't have a more powerful mirror that if there's things in your external life that just do not feel right, do not fit right, you just don't feel right about where you're at, the decisions you're making, the moves you're making, the, 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 the conversations that you're having, the relationships that you're in, however it resonates with you, um, the, these outside external conflicts are only a mirror to seek to get you to seek within as to what what is being missing what hasn't been truly looked at what hasn't been truly let go of what wounds haven't been healed what what dark inner corners have you been hiding from the sort of catching up with you and although I know it doesn't feel like a gift for many of you that resonate with this it is truly a gift because this shows how powerful of a soul you are to have the hermit upside down and then clarifying with the hermit in the upright. It shows me and I can feel the power and immense power that you have within that you just need to unleash on the within so that the without the external can start to flow and be in more of a frequency match to you. This is where you can really raise the bar as to how you are seen up by the outside world, as to how you see yourself, as to how you attain in the spiritual realm as well as the physical realm. Whoever it is of you that resonate with this, it's this is deep. This is this shows that you are a deeply spiritual person, that you are deeply connected to the hidden, to the within and the hidden in, in the other realms. But there's been this disconnect for a while now and so everything in the external is highlighting to you everything feels upside down everything just doesn't feel right there's anxiety flowing all of that take a pause take a breath and recognize that this is just your inner self calling you to say you can get in flow now you can be in flow now you have to sort it out on the within no more treading water on the without and hoping that you can keep up the pace. You don't have to keep up that pace. If you can get do that inner work um, and get whole on, on the inside, then everything is just going to flow on the outside much more freely, much more easily, and it's going to resonate with you. So whoever it is, whoever of you that it is that resonate with that, that's a deep calling, but know that it's a powerful calling because you are powerful, because you are um, able and capable of shining this light within yourself in order to emit this light into your physical experience here and for all that are around you, which an absolute, you know, bliss to be around somebody who is just so whole and able to be just so honest with themselves on the inside. I mean, that is refreshing. It is attractive you know, it's sexy, it, it's, it's, um, it's like a magnet to the right people that it, it's just a respect and awe because whoever 
of us have managed to continuously do this hermit energy work and it is a continuous work um we recognize how hard it can be at times you know how difficult it can be at times so for you to have this call and just know that you are all powerful and you are all capable and you can you can absolutely align with self today now no no more waiting and your external will react quickly so we've got the tower card it's in reverse and so this is where um there are avoidable obstacles um and this is avoidable because uh, this is avoidable because there's um with this hermit energy if you are capable of doing this reflecting within doing that inner work you can avoid a very big tower moment in your life um being able to let go of ego let go of attachments of how you think things should look how you think others expect things to look how you what you think others expect of you what kind of um reputation you have to upkeep if you can let go of all of that and do this hermit card energy in the dub you can avoid a big tower moment i say uh, at the start of that because there's this energy still this reluctance to do this hermit energy uh, there's a reluctance almost as if you've forgotten how powerful this is um but for a lot of you you've already done this and you've already proven to yourself that when you do this kind of inner work your your outside just flows things just come to you you don't even have to work too hard to get them people are attracted to you so it's about remembering that and accepting that again uh the power of it because with that you can avoid a huge tower moment um if you can't do this then there is this inevitable tower moment which will not be pleasant but always remember that the tower itself always stays standing it's just the ego things the trimmings that fall from the top and it's when we are so reluctant and resistant to following our true heart our true path where we are truly drawn to go towards who we are truly drawn to go towards what we are truly drawn to do then inevitably we can tread water for for quite a long time at times or quite a short time it depends on the experience and the cycle of your life that you're in but inevitably this tower moment comes because when we are living with ego which is attachment to how we think others might judge how others want to be how others want to see us or how others want us to present or how we want to present to others and it's external 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 then that external chaos comes in in order to get you back to where you were called to go to in the first place within uh, to find out where your true heart lies so to clarify this tower in reverse again we've got the four of cups from another deck so this is speaking about meditation 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 connecting to your true essence now this is super powerful with the tower card in reverse because connecting to your true essence the tower represents your true essence the core of you um the true you and so it to have this in reverse with this meditation it's like the universe and yourself within the universe is giving you such a chance to rectify the course that you're on right now in order to, for you to reach your highest potentials and be on your true path um so there's 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 a love here there's a universal love for you here for those that resonate with this and you keep getting these chances and but meditation will bring this knowledge in this honesty in and of course meditation works brilliant for the hermit energy in order to be able to go within with that lantern in the darkest corners the things that we don't even want to admit to self but through meditation we get into that safe zone that safe place where we can shut out the external for a while and listen to the true voice our true essence our core self and so the next card is the devil card and so there's certain things um that just aren't aligning right now um certain relationships that are binding you um certain um certain there's a lot of ego here in that 
there's certain things that, that are binding you to the way things have to look, the way things should look, a fear of the judgment of others. All of these things are chaining you to your lower self. Um, and in that exploration with the hermit energy, that's where you would be going within to find out um, where, where, where am I going? Uh, where am I being chained? Where am I actually just um, avoiding making decisions for self, avoiding making decisions as my higher self, as my true self, and, and going, just going along with it, treading water, thinking I can pull this off. Um, thinking I can be in lack in other areas in order to maintain a, an image, in order to maintain an addiction, whatever it might be that, that is chaining and binding you to a, a lower frequency regarding self. Um, there's a few of you that are feeling this energy of um, not being in love with self being very judgmental of self and certain past abuses, certain past um, conditioning has, has led you to believe something that is completely false for you. Um, and that's where the hermit energy again comes in, where there's been an avoidance of this. Every time you've avoided this, you've attracted more of this into your life, which has built up those chains to be even stronger and even harder in your mind's eye to, to, to get through, to work your way through, to inner stand, to break through. Um, that's not true with a change of perspective, no matter how many years it's been or, or how short of a time it's been that you've buried this, you can absolutely transmute these energies through this hermit energy and through the release of yourself from this. Now, it's not all bad because during the devil card, when we are chained to our lower frequency our lower chakras we have again this opportunity you see the ladder beyond the devil statue here uh, the, the the almost like Jacob's ladder the steps to heaven there is a way up and through the through us being in our dark place in our hermit energy in our dark corners through this we can actually chisel what will be or would be our inner demons um, the things that haunt us, the things that we've done, the things that we think we are, the labels that we've got, the relationships that we're in, all of those things that don't actually really reflect who we truly are. I mean, truly are at our true core essence. Um, this is where we have an opportunity to put that lantern into that dark space, to create those inner demons into inner diamonds which then only work to reflect and reflect the light all the way up in an even more powerful way, um, like a kaleidoscope. This is where that, that, that stairway comes in, that way up the spine, that way up the consciousness. And it gives us valuable lessons about self and valuable lessons about others. So this can actually be a truly creative space if it is used correctly but ignored, um, to continue to ignore it will only seek to bind you even harder and even more so to your lower frequency, in which case we do attract things into our lives that aren't, you know, of good, that aren't of um, a blissful feeling. And so we've got here, um, as far as the collective stage, I just want to make mention to this, as far as the collective stage, we have been so conditioned, so don't beat yourself up if this reading resonates with you. We've been so conditioned to be so absorbed by external chaos that we are, in some cases, unknowing of the capacity that we have to go within. Um, and in some cases, we, we don't realize that actually working on the external to try and fix the internal, the emotional, the fire, the air, the earth, all of the elements that make us, the ether, the spiritual, all of that does not work if we are just working on the external. It all comes out of balance. We've been so conditioned to think that that is the right way around. The right way around is it always comes from the within first and exudes out through our electromagnetic fields and will attract in whatever we are putting out in varying different degrees, but nevertheless, it will attract it in. 
And so this is where we are taking back that ancient wisdom. Now, as above, so below, as within, so without. Everything reflecting in on everything and having an impact on everything. So don't beat yourself up if you're just coming into the knowing and the true knowing of the hermit energy, of the hermit card. So that does chain us. As far as the collective stage, they've always got us in a case of, with this tower in reverse, in a, in a place of avoidance, of avoidance of catastrophe, but never actually going and fixing the problem that would be drawing in the catastrophe by doing the hermit energy. Uh, the, the meditation in the Western world has been all but forgotten in the collective. I know a lot of people do it, but numbers wise, it's been all but forgotten as part of the process of combining all aspects of self, spiritual, emotional, emotional, mental and physical. And so this is where um, and, and fire the passion. And the, the enjoyment of what meditation is and can be, the, that inner cosmos, the endless possibilities in the dark womb of, of the mind, of the heart, of the actual womb. And so we have been conditioned to be chained to things also. You look at the collective, and I can really feel the energies of the collective today. Um, it really coming down on people today regarding their addictions, the, the porn industry, um, you know, the food industry, um, the, the, the drug industry. All of these things have been shoved in our faces and funneled down from the top because they know it chains us. They know and um, we get we as a collective, we've been gluttonous with those things and we've lost that connection with self. So many people today in the collective, just for you to be aware of this, um, if they have drug problems, if they are in bad relationships, you know, there's things that would go on here that would um, maybe make you um, treat them differently, have a different understanding of them, but be super discerning with that nine of wands also, um, because we've got the magician card to clarify this devil. And so there is trickery here, and particularly for those of you that either do have a, um, a drug addiction or alcohol addiction, or you have somebody in your life who has a drug addiction or alcohol addiction, or indeed you've gotten out of a bad relationship, um, but that person keeps coming back, you know, the hoovering upstage of the narcissistic relationship. You've got that energy of today to be discerning of that because there would be trickery to get what they want to feed the addiction. And if it is, you be aware of this and try not to impose this on anybody else um, because it's what's driving you is what you are bound to rather than your consciousness making that decision of what is right and wrong. And so a lot of you might be running into others that you care about or even strangers um, that, that have this energy about them today. Again, that discernment comes in. Again, that night actually underneath on the bottom of the other deck comes in the trickster, the trickery, the manipulation. So be careful of that as with others in your life that, you know, resemble that energy imprint um, and don't give into it, don't enable it. As far as relationships go, um, for those of you who have been in a violent relationship and have done the awesome job of getting out of that, well done. But be aware of the energies today of that hoovering up process where somebody who has been violent in the past, verbally or physically, but more so physically I'm picking up on, is um, trying to come back, trying to get their foot in the door with all of the good words, having all of the good tools on the table to drip feed you those words of honey. Do not undo your work. Don't chain yourself to that energy again. Um, as tempting as it could be, and I've been there, understand that as tempting as it could be, if you're feeling lonely, if you just want that appreciation, or you think it might be different, the energy of the reading would suggest it's not going to be, and it might get more severe. 
during the rollout of 2021 as things get more intense and things get ramped up in the collective people like this are also absorbing those energies so if they're already extreme with you in the first place or have been in the past you can expect for those energies to ramp up and maybe those dangers to rack up there a little bit so be aware of that and just um yeah just give it a wide berth so as far as the collective stage, look out for headlines today. There are going to be such misleading, lying, manipulative, down and dirty, low frequency, magical headlines being put out today to captivate the fear of the collective. Yuck. Horrible energy to it. Don't feed into it, avoid it, be discerning, observe it. Yes, it's important that we all know what they're up to, but do not feed into it. Um, certain speeches today, do not listen to them. Even if you listen to them tomorrow or the next day, they line up the speeches with certain dates, certain days in order to get certain impact with their spell work. The speakers half of the time might not even know what they're doing. They're just being directed about what to say and when to say it. But the magic is behind it. The incantation is behind it. So avoid listening to speeches today for sure. Um, there's something about today that they really want into um, bind people up and actually restrict travel movements even more. Uh, in different areas of the world today too. So be aware of that, look out for that. Yeah, they just need to stop at this point and the collective just needs to say, look, we know, we know, cats out the bag, step aside, let the adults take over. Um, and let those shadowy figures in the background that have the goal to think that they have the right to put out this sneaky low frequency magic and think that there aren't people like me and like yourselves who can see it and feel it and, and know what it is all about. So hopefully um, the rest of the collective can avoid that today, but I don't think they can and I don't think they will. So just be aware of it for your own individual journey today, for your own individual life today. I know it can be hard to say no to loved ones or um, returning exes, um, but it's not the energy for you to um it's not the energy for you to either enable any addictions today or um enter into even a dialogue uh with returning violent exes um it's not a good day it's a trickery day for that so be aware of that uh, be super discerning you the best thing you can do is you know stuff this stuff this be discerning hermit go within that's the best thing you can do detach from the outside world and meditate you're going to get far much more achieved i feel like a lot of people will be banging their heads against a brick wall trying to get things done trying to get that to-do list ticked off and actually you will be counterproductive because of the energies of the day. I feel like if you actually took the day out to relax and meditate, that things would fall into place for you. That like the magician, you would be able to direct from within the outside of things for, to fall into place as and where you need them most. And then the next day, you're going to get everything ticked off that list and done without any hassle. So I hope that helps. I hope that helps you reach the highest potentials of your day. Remember, it's not boring to go within. You are an endless well of possibilities. Um, and when you do go within, you can discover more and more of self and give us the gift of more and more of you being in the collective. I appreciate you all. Love you all. Stay balanced and stay in your wholeness. Much love. Mwah.